This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Um, so this is uh, an extension of the last tutorial. So if you're wondering how to set this up, basically I set this up in the last tutorial and I, I used uh, these rods here, which is something that um, I thought is a really cool idea on how you can kind of light your scene. So all I've done here is I basically have a cylinder and the cylinder has an emissive material on it. And this emissive material, um, you know, uh, has also a post-processing volume um, as well. And uh, all I'm doing is I'm just copying out these rods here. And this is a kind of an interesting way to light uh, your, uh, your specific uh, scene here. But I'm just basically copying these out here. But the, the real magic comes in when you rotate these to different kind of, um, uh, basically different kind of, um, uh, of angles here. So I'm just going to rotate these to different kind of angles. And remember, you can actually copy things out, uh, by the way when you rotate things to different angles. Uh, so you can see here, I, I kind of uh, did that here. You know, if I wanted to rotate this one here, um, kind of rotate this to, you know, something like this, I can do that. And it actually isn't too bad to light uh, uh, to light something this way here. And of course we can play around with, with things like, um, you know, you can kind of move this out here. Etc. But anyway, let's take a quick look and play around with this. So that actually looks quite interesting. Uh, you know, these are quite bright, uh, but you'd have to play around with the settings to make sure it worked perfectly for your game. Uh, for example, I think the bloom might be a bit too much here. So if I hop into post processing volume and in my bloom here, try to take the bloom intensity down to something like that, uh, I think that might be wor wor working a little bit better here. But nevertheless, it's kind of an easy way to light a scene. Now, remember, one of the things uh, that was uh, one of the things that really stuck with me from some of my teachers over the time is it's not necessarily the thing or the light that is lighting the scene. It's about the shadows. And in this case, uh, you know, the shadow, like if, if you think about it, this light has a certain kind of style to it, but the shadows also kind of have a style to it. And it's that subtlety that makes good game designers great. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do that or not. Now, of course, in the last tutorial, I actually have a couple more emissive, um, uh, emissive materials here, and there's no reason why you can't use those um, here. So I think it's in the materials here. So, you know, if I type in the emissive, and remember, I set these up in the last tutorial, so you can change these to blue if you want as well. Um, you know, and I have a red one too. But, you know, this actually works out kind of interestingly, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. In fact, just by doing that here, I'm just going to kind of move this out here, and you can actually make an asterisk. Um, work out pretty well here. So if you just type in the rotate here, we can just rotate things once. And then I'm just pushing the alt key, right, twice. And then, you know, we might as well do this. And then again. And so we're kind of making like a star, which I think is really cool. And so we can kind of move this this way. And then this way. And you can really get carried away with this. Right, and so you get the idea, right? You can make these little star things. And I think if you kind of were to move that up somewhere up top, that actually would look pretty good. And it really didn't take that long to set up here. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of emissive materials in this scene, uh, but it does light everything up because I did turn the light source basically down to nothing here, all right? So there you go. That's an easy way to light your room with uh, basically just little these little rods here. And look at that, you can actually hop on it. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, there you go. So, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 
10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.